In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear wheel speed sensor on this Mercedes E350. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the wheel using a 17 millimeter socket. Take the lug bolts out. Once we go to take the last one out, I'm just going to hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall. Just grab the wheel and slide it off. There's two push pins right here. We're going to take those out. I'm just going to use a trim tool. Slide those out. Using a 10 millimeter socket, take these nuts off. They're just plastic nuts. that off. Underneath there's an 8 millimeter screw. Just use a 8 millimeter socket. Take that screw out. 10 millimeter socket. Take these two nuts out. There's two push pins. One here. One up there, we're going to take those out, just use the trim tool. Grab this panel. Just slides right out. And disconnect the lower sensor. You can just push down right there, pull the connector out. And you can follow the connector down. You're going to have these little brackets. You just get under here with a pick. Just pry up on that. Slide the wire out. Just pry it out. You can try it with a screwdriver. That makes it easier for you. Just slide that wire out. I'm just going to follow that down underneath. Pop that wire out right there. Just pull it out of the bracket. Follow it up. And further up is another bracket. There's a grommet right here. I'll just pop that out of the bracket. I'm just going to use a trim tool. Another grommet right here. Just pop that out. Just like that. You can see the wire. There's a retainer right here. We'll just slide that past. And move the wire out of the way. You can see where the bolt is. Using a E10 socket. Take the bolt out. Grab the sensor. And it slides right out. And there it is. Now take the sensor. Slide it in the knuckle. Take the bolt to get that started. Snug that down. Slide the wiring harness down the way it came. I'm going to slide it through that bracket right there. Just like that. Where the grommet is, slide it into this bracket. Push it down. Slide this up. This grommet's going in this bracket. Just push that in. Slide the wires down. And push the wire in this bracket. And you just follow the other wire, pushing it in the brackets. And just follow it along. Go around the wires. And we'll 
push that in place, lock that down. You can lock all these down. Slide the inner fender well in. Get it lined up. Take the push pins, get those lined up. Lock those down. Take the nuts, get those started. Snug those down. Underneath, snug that one down. Now take the wheel, line it up. Take the lug bolt, get that started. Snug that down and install the rest of them. Now we're gonna to torque the lug nuts to 95 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.